everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to. My name is Danny, and I, today I am going to be filming a get ready with me. I'm going to be testing some new products that I was recommended. I asked people on Instagram um, drugstore products that they recommend. So I'm going to test them out with you guys. And seeing as it's nearly Valentine's Day, I thought we'd do a nice glam Valentine's Day look. You stick around and we'll get right into it. Starting off with the L'Oreal True Match in the shade Creamy Beige. I love this foundation. I mean, for 9 99 it's got a lovely coverage, it's got a lovely base. I've already primed and moisturised my face before I started the video, so that's why I'm going straight in with foundation. Next we're going to go with concealer and this is a new product that was recommended by someone on Instagram. It's the new Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite. Like they already had the Conceal and Define and this is apparently their new one. It's apparently 16 hour wear. I got mine in the shade C5. I was, I'm pretty sure in the other one I was like C2 or C3 so when I was like looking through and it said C5 was like the light skin tones I was like Hmm. Seems a bit dark, but the one that, like the C2 one, was literally like white. That was a lot of product that came out on that brush then. I don't think it likes the brush, so I'm just gonna go in with my finger. And I'm going to gently tap that in. It does actually feel really nice on the skin. It doesn't feel too heavy or too cakey under the eye. Which I know some concealers can. Especially when they're like a long wear concealer. They tend to be quite thick normally. In consistency. I actually quite like that. It's really nice. I'm going to see how well it is on any blemishes I've got going on. I always have quite a few me. I actually covered that spot there quite well on my jawline. You can't see it now. The price of that, I think it was like six or seven pounds. That is a lovely concealer. It's a nice consistency. It hasn't creased as of yet, but I haven't set my under eyes yet. And it's covered the spots quite nicely as well. Like it blends it out quite nice into the foundation, so you can't see like an obvious like concealer mark over the spot or anything like that. Next product is another recommended product, and it is a setting powder, and it's the Lottie London Ready Set Go. I think this has been out for quite a while, but I've never tried it, so I'm gonna give it a go. So I'm just gonna get a fluffy brush, and I am gonna set my under eye. Translucent powder was £5.50. Oh, and the concealer was £6, so I guess that one right. It's quite a nice powder. Some drugstore powders can be like so drying and they just look like almost like flaky on the skin. But this does look really nice. Right, I'm looking a bit pale now and a bit washed out so I think we'll need to go in with a bit of bronzer. As always, I'm just going to use my Hoola Benefit bronzer. I'm just going to come a bit closer to you guys for this part because I'm going to start on the eyeshadow. I'm just going to set down the lid with, I'm just going to make sure there's no creases. The palettes that I'm going to be using today is going to be the I Heart Revolution Red Velvet palette and the I Heart Revolution Cranberries and Chocolate. 
and I'm gonna do like a pinky berry colour with a little bit of glitter. I've got these glitters that I'm still yet to try and I really, they've got like a pinky red one that I really think would look nice. So we're gonna do that. So on a big fluffy brush I am gonna be taking this colour which is Infuse and it's like a darkish pink colour and I'm just gonna run that through the crease. So I've just blended that out with a nice big fluffy brush from corner to corner. I mean it looks like a big crazy pink stripe now but don't worry we'll fix it. Next up I'm going to be taking a darker more deeper pink shade in the shade crumbs. Oh you can see my reflection there. Hello everyone. <laughs> and I'm going to be taking that on a smaller but still a fluffy brush. Then we're going to pack that into the very middle of the crease. Starting underneath where you just put that other pink. I'm going to blend it out up into that one. Next I'm going to be going in with this dark wine shade and I'm going to be packing that all over the lid. And now we're going to go in with this really dark purpley shade and we're going to go in on the inner and outer corners. Right now I'm going to go back in with the pink shade which was infused and I'm going to run that across my lower lash line. Now I'm going to highlight the brow bone and the inner corner. I'm going to go in and I'm just going to blend that pink until it's all diffused with a cleanish fluffy brush. Right guys, so I'm just gonna head off camera and do the other eye and I'll be right back with ya. So we're back again, I've finished the other eye look. I think it's really pretty. I came back because I wanted to do the glitter with you and see how it works. And test it out together. So this is the real text techniques, I think. Loose glitter. I'm trying to like not get this glitter everywhere because glitter is just like the worst thing like once you drop it somewhere like it's there forever you can't get rid oh I think that glitter is so pretty now this glitter is going to be on me for the next year or so isn't it like I'm just not going to be able to get rid of it so let's go in with mascara and this was another one that was recommended to me on Instagram and it is the Big Lash Extra Volume Mascara from Makeup Revolution. It's got a plastic wand with like little tiny like bristles. I wouldn't say it was doing much for, oh no, got a bit on my face. I wouldn't say it was doing much for the length of my lashes. 
but it's definitely made them look a lot more full so that's the mascara on it is a nice mascara but it's just not it's not doing as much for the length as I've as others do like the and the color is very jet black as you can see the product I'm just gonna go in with a nice nude lip gloss I don't want to do too much to the lips because my eyes are quite bold like the color on them is really striking so I'm just gonna do a classic nude lip gloss so the first lip gloss I've got is like a brownie nude shade and the other one's like a pinky nude shade so I'm gonna put half and half and see which one I like better See that one's more like a normal brown nude and that one's a bit more pinky. No, I think I'm going to go with the brown because there's quite a lot of pink in my eyes so I'll just go with that bit off. So that's the lip gloss done. I'm just going to go in with a tiny bit of black eyeliner on the outer corners just to darken up the eye look. Like so. Make it a bit more dramatic. You could also apply some false lashes to make it look a bit nicer but I don't wear false lashes very often. I just go with good old mascara so last but not least let's go in with some highlight and who doesn't love a lot of highlight I'm gonna run that across the tops of my cheeks my nose gonna highlight anywhere that I think needs highlighting. So guys that is the finished look. Nice pink berry glittery eye shadow. So guys, that is the finished makeup look. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll leave all the links to the products that I've used in the description box. Thank you so much if you watched with me and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this from me. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this look. I think it's really pretty and perfect colours for Valentine's Day. And hopefully I'll see you all again soon. Bye guys.